this is going to be just a very simple variation of the chin tuck, so working on the deep neck flexors and kind of mobilizing the upper cervical spine with assistance of the wall, which wall is going to kind of create a little bit of constraints, so a little bit of uh, it's going to give us a little bit of feedback the way we are doing it. So what you're going to do is just you're going to step close to the wall, you're going to kind of lean against the wall just like this. So upper back is just leaning against the wall, also the head is touching the wall. As you can see in my, my case, when I'm like this, my head is slightly extended like this. So what I will try to do is almost like slide the head on the wall upwards. So pretty much just doing this, this kind of movement. This, when I'm sliding the head upwards, the chin is automatically retracting and going into this. If I don't control my upper chest, what you're going to see is, as my chest is going down, my chest is raising up. So ideally what I would do is just breathe out, get my chest kind of in that expiratory position down, put my hand on my chest just for a little bit of extra feedback and then bring, try to bring the head upwards and then it's going to be just stacking the chin back without kind of raising the chest up. So the chest is staying down and the back of the head is kind of sliding upwards on the wall. I find it's very, very easy for people to feel uh, what to do and it gives them kind of a nice nice guidance. Uh, ideally you wouldn't be pushing it too too hard so it takes a little bit of time just to mobilize it maybe with, in combination with different exercises like uh, pushing manually or a little bit of soft tissue work around the so occipitals and maybe the SAM. So this is just a different angle which gives a little bit better perspective. So lying against the wall the head is kind of being just in this position you breathe out bring the chest down and then you are trying to just almost like slide the back of your head upwards on the wall. As you can see, that's bring, bring. You see, I'm sliding the head upwards, that brings the chin automatically down. Most of the movement is happens kind of in that, in this region, just over here. What I'm not trying to do is, I'm not trying to flatten the neck into the wall. It's mostly just the movement of the head 